offers up. When rumor comes to him that Pompeius Magnus is coming back from Spain and he's looking to get involved and get a little cut of the glory in the slave revolt situation. And of course, Crassus has it all won. Here comes Pompey to swoop in like a vulture and try to steal it from him. So he hurries up, he tries to get it all done with. He basically got the slave army defeated. And at one point, Pompey swoops in and kills 5,000 stragglers who've gotten away from you know, Crassus's blockade. And then Pompey goes under Rome and says, yes, I, I am. He gives Crassus. It seems very obvious this is a Pompey versus Crassus election. It's flash and glory versus money and numbers. And the two don't like each other. What's more, both these men had armies. And they took their armies back to Rome. Both of them camped outside the walls of Rome with their legions. And of course, this freaked out both the people in Rome and the Senate. Every these guys understand, you know, the power and potential of legions, and how having them can get you all sorts of rules. Okay. Pompey is supposed to have famously said while he was working for Sulla, you know, somebody started quoting some regulations to him about things that he could or could not do, and he had a bunch of soldiers show up on the scene. And Pompey famously said, don't quote laws to men who have swords. That's the lesson that Crassus and Pompey both understood it, so they had swords with them in the thousands outside the gates of Rome, and they were both going to join forces and share the consulship. They wanted empowered again so we could really do things in the way of popularity, like most of the women plans were. Um, you know, the way they thought about doing things was having a tribute who could do what Tiberius Gracchus and Caius Gracchus and all those guys did. A person who could really go in there and start chewing through the Roman system and getting them things they wanted. And we were Pompey and Crassus, both protégés of the guy who, you know, made that illegal, promised to restore that too. And in the 70s, he 